This is a podcast from the London Accordion Orchestra. For more information, visit our website at www.londonao.co.uk. Very moving piece of music. Genius. Mysterious. Imaginative. Exhilarating. The devil's work. It's really terrifying. Fast. Mysterious. A story. Sinister. Nightmares. Hitchcock. It's a fantastic piece. It's very dramatic. I love it. Elves and dwarves and... Uh, hobbits and <laughs> and dragons. Yeah. Love it. I'm Sam Cullen, principal bass player for LAO. You've just heard a clip of the first movement from Black Mountain titled Mysterium Tremendum. In this episode, I will be looking at each movement with clips from live performances recorded at several concerts across 2019, as well as conversations with members of the Swiss National Youth Orchestra. You just heard reactions of players that have performed the piece, and the first word that comes to their mind. The various reactions from players and listeners does not come as a surprise to the composer, Ian Watson, who wrote the piece specifically to capture the imagination of the audience for the 2019 World Music Festival in Innsbruck, where the piece had its international premiere. Every section has its own narrative, and with that some very complex and at times on the verge of insanely difficult passages to play, as I'm sure you can hear from the recordings. Conceived while on a walk in the beautiful landscape of Herault in the south of France, Ian and two friends were admiring the view over the vineyards and valleys. It was on that mild January afternoon that he saw in the distance clouds drifting below the crooked peak at the top of Mont Caprier. The music is a story of three friends hiking up the vigorous and treacherous landscape with an element of jollity and naivety for what was to come. The music twists and turns, and you can almost visualise the friends jumping over rocks and enjoying their journey. As the three friends continue on their adventure up the mountain in the second movement titled The Beast of Black Mountain, they notice something sinister, and like all ten thrillers, they proceed to investigate what lies in the dark. the beast of Black Mountain is revealed from the deep dark depths of the underworld. (laughs) 
chased by the beast, they run, dodging sharp verges and steep cliff edges, escaping for their lives. The third movement is a lament, a calm and reflective moment of when the characters in the story, as well as the listeners, can digest the drama and excitement from the previous section. Maria, leader of the thirds, performs this movement alongside Anya, who accompanies her in the fourths. As a bass player at the back of the orchestra, I notice every time we play this, the orchestra has a moment to be still and engage with the music. For the first time in the orchestra's repertoire, we are instructed in the music to hum a middle C. An audience member I spoke to said they were looking around the auditorium unsure as to where the sound was coming from, but it fitted perfectly. As the friends assemble together one last time, they look up to observe what they set out to do, to climb, Black Mountain. The last movement is called Summit, and it returns to the style and energy of the first movement. The anticipation is clear, and they are ready to reach the peak of the mountain and complete their journey. Personally, I reflect on this moment of the piece in comparison to our own journey as an orchestra, planning the long anticipated return to Innsbruck and playing in the top section of the competition. The orchestra has come a long way since our first visit in 2013. Black Mountain lives on and was published on the day of the performance in Innsbruck. Since our performance, Ian has been invited to travel across Europe as a guest conductor, including the Swiss Youth Accordion Orchestra in Susie, just 20 minutes from the towering landscape of Lucerne. During a break at one of the rehearsals, I caught up with a few of the young players to get their reaction for Black Mountain. I'm with some players from the Youth Orchestra here in Switzerland, and I'm... Uh, going to ask, how did you find the weekend working with Ian on Black Mountain? So uh, for us it was mostly like we already played these, uh, this Black Mountain with two other um, conductors and it was now really amazing to see how Ian works on it because Ian is the one that actually wrote it and uh, he gave us much more, m much many more ideas on how we can elaborate and um, how we can play together and uh, how we can really tell the story during playing. This was really amazing, yeah. And as section, of, uh, section leader of the orchestra in the firsts, was there anything that was really challenging for you as a player? I mean, yeah, sure, of course it's really challenging. It's uh, technically, I think, one of the most difficult pieces I ever played. Um, but. The way how we how we get into it uh, makes it even possible to at least reach the level which is needed, almost or yeah, quite quite good. And uh, it's just a big challenge, and it it makes so much fun. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much for your time. Cool. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> um, the stick is a sehr schönes Stück. Es ist it's a beautiful but very difficult piece. It's a lot of fun working everything out. Thank you.
Dankeschön. I'm here with Leia. Hello. Leia, when you first saw the score for Black Mountain, what were your first impressions? Well, first I thought, oh, this is uh, hard work. But then I um, got into it and I listened to it also on YouTube. And I really appreciate Ian's work. And uh, yeah, it's, it sounds sometimes like a bit like film music. And I really love that. And... Also, the story it tells, uh, it's amazing. Is there a particular movement that you enjoy playing? I personally love the second movement. It's so much going on there. And also the dad of the monster, that's genius. But also the third movement, when it's um, getting quieter, that's also very beautiful. Why is it about the third movement that you like so much? Yeah, I like that the whole orchestra has like to play very in common and everyone listens to everyone. So we like really get a sense of being one whole family orchestra. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much for having a chat with me. Yeah, thank you very much. And I really loved working with Ian Watson. And I also think the whole orchestra, Youth Music Orchestra of Switzerland, really loved playing with uh, and working with Ian. And thank you very much. A personal congratulations to Ian for writing this incredible piece of music and to the LAO players that performed it with all their might, energy and passion. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from us. You've been listening to the London Accordion Orchestra podcast. For more information, visit our website, www.londonao.co.uk.